For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Flight 727 will arrive at gate 18 in one hour. Thank you. This was my husband's 10th pilgrimage to Mecca. He blessed five young men by paying all their expenses. Their lives will be changed forever. Dr. Raleigh, I was in awe when I saw the Kaaba. It was magnificent. Heathrow Tower, this is flight 727. We have an emergency. Only one landing gear is down and locked, please advise. I'm so honored to be the wife of a man so dedicated to Islam. We all look up to him, Miss Ali. We are blessed just to know him. Heathrow Tower to flight 727. Start dumping fuel and prepare for an emergency landing. Rescue units are foaming runway 27 as we speak. Attention, please. We are about to make an emergency landing. Oh no. Please brace yourselves and keep your heads down. Dr. Raleigh, I'm afraid to die. Be of courage, my brothers. If Allah wills it, we may be in paradise in just a few minutes. Abdul Ali, come with me. Am I dead? Yes, all are dead. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Oh no. Why? It was the will of Allah. Thankfully, their sins were forgiven, because they performed the Hajj. You must be taking me to paradise. No, we are going to see if your name is in the Book of Life. Abdul Ali's name was not in the Book of Life, so he heard these terrible words from God. Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire. No, wait, I'm supposed to stand before Allah, who are you? I am the Lord, Jesus Christ, to whom is given all judgment. But where is Allah, and his prophet, Muhammad? Because Muhammad rejected me, he is not in heaven. And he that believeth not the Son, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. And Allah is a satanic counterfeit. He is one of many false gods that have deceived millions. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. But God, this isn't fair. Nobody ever told me any of this. I was just obeying the religion of my family. No, Abdul, when you were in medical school, I sent one of my servants to lead you to the truth. But, you rejected him, and me. Abdul, I have a message that God wants every Muslim to hear. I don't want to offend you, but, as your friend, I'm compelled by love, to tell you, that your religion, will not get you to heaven. What? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Abdul, the devil doesn't want anyone to go there. So he created many false religions, which bring people into the bondage, of doing good works, to earn eternal life. But, they all leave out the truth, that the only way to heaven, is through faith in Jesus Christ, not by doing good works. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. But I pray, five times a day, and I give to the poor. I've already made, three pilgrimages, and fulfilled all the requirements at the Hajj. Doesn't all this count, for anything? I'm so sorry, Abdul, but the Bible says no. Salvation is a free gift. For by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast.
Abba, religion can never solve man's main problem, sin. Because our first parents, Adam and Eve, brought sin into the world, through their disobedience, we all became sinners. For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. That's why we all deserve, hell. To solve this problem, God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to earth. He lived a sinless life. At the age of 33, the Jesus of the Bible was crucified. Since he was sinless, he shed his precious blood to pay the penalty for the sins of all mankind. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That day alone, 30 Bible prophecies were fulfilled. Three days later, Jesus proved, he was the true God, by rising from the dead, no other God has ever done that. And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. Did anyone, actually see Jesus, after he rose from the dead? Yes. Over 500 people. After that he was seen of above 500 brethren at once. All who trust the Lord Jesus as their Savior, receive the gift of eternal life. But the gift of God is eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Their sins are forgiven, and their names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Someday, Abel, you will stand before God, I pray, your name will be in that book. Won't you forsake your religion, and ask Jesus Christ, to save you right now? And this is the record, that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Paul, I can't, my family will disown me. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Abdul, and because you rejected me, you must pay the penalty for your own sins. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. But I was a very sincere Muslim. I'm sorry, Abdul, but you were sincerely wrong. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Dear reader, like Abdul Ali, you have been told the truth. Your religion will not get you into heaven. Jesus is the only way. Will you trust him as your personal savior? Your eternal destiny hangs in the balance. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. God never dominates anybody. Wherever you encounter domination, it's something satanic. That's not how God rules people. But Satan's ambition is to dominate the whole world, not just some little part of humanity, through a kingdom of darkness to dominate the whole world. And because his kingdom is a kingdom of darkness, the people who are in that kingdom, for the most part, don't know what they're in. You see, the kingdom of God is a kingdom of light. If we're in the kingdom of God, we know where we are. Amen. Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This beautiful story is from Chick Publications. They have many good tracks that anybody can pass out on the streets, or leave them anywhere to be found and read. They have gospel tracks related for every religion and everyone. Witnessing made easy, with Chick. We will have a link to Chick tracks in the description area. You're only saved by grace through faith by trusting in the gospel and by trusting in the blood of Jesus.
The only way to know Jesus is to go all in with Jesus, and read his gospel. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. Lord, now indeed I find thy power and mine alone can change the leper spots and melt the heart of stone. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. And when before the throne I stand in him complete, I'll lay my trophies down, all down at Jesus' feet. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. My sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. Sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow.